got uh, volunteer BMX riders here. Uh, this video is for uh, Veronique. These guys here are moving bike ramps around in this little spot. We would love to use this little spot. Have a door and everything. With bike ramps, kids doing positive and good things. Not doing vandalism graffiti like you see on the wall, but doing positive, really good stuff. Like that is. Which is for, uh, windows. To stop child abuse. That's kids doing good artwork. <laughs> this is kids doing bad artwork. Uh, with no direction. We want to work with them to do that. And we got a guy down here. Uh, hey Lee, explain downside for me. What's downside? You're pro BMXer from England, right? Downside is a um, distribution company. Um, they just made me a middleman from the retailer to the customer. They, they can't give, they give, it, uh, they give it discounts on buy products, anything like that. They're sponsoring a road trip for us to go to Montreal uh, either this weekend or next weekend, which is uh, all booked to pay for. A group of about 5% of us are going to go down. Sounds good time, really. Downside, so you're a sponsored rider. Now, this space here is a. Uh, can you say something to somebody who might own this space as to what what could be done with it with BMX? You could um, you can make it a tiny indoor park. Um, head height. It's a good amount of head height for a, for a small person. I don't know. I don't really know about making a profitable business out of a skate park in this area because it's too small. Really. But the size of things you need, you to charge people, it's not really worth it. For a place to keep kids out of the rain, kids out of the cold, it's a very good idea. If it's not been used for anything else, then I don't see why it's not been used for BMX. Okay. Thanks for talking to us, Lee. Anyway, uh, this is for anybody that owns this place. Uh, I'm a cop. I'm Constable Scott Mills, Toronto Police, and I'm with Toronto Crime Stoppers. Um, I also do legal graffiti art with kids, and uh, this builds trust with the kids doing projects like this. And uh, along with Mike Keaton, who you see down there moving ramps, he runs the Toronto BMX Jam. He's a retired teacher. Uh, we would love to have this space here for exactly what uh, Lee just said, uh, a place for the kids to stay out of the rain, stay out of trouble, build some relationships with cops, and uh, we'll celebrate it all using technology, kids, cops, and computers. Uh, check out the YouTube account that this is on, Toronto BMX, and the YouTube account, Legal Graffiti Art. They're all linked into the 1-800-222-TIPS Crime Stoppers YouTube account, as well as Facebook and Twitter. So. This is for you, Veronique. Let's see if we can't talk to some some of the right people to maybe help this happen. This ramp here was painted by a graffiti artist as part of the Great Cup Youth Engagement Project in 2007 with these very ramps.